In the last 25 years, our soldiers have fought in Europe, the Pacific, and in Korea. Today, they fight in Vietnam. Target flight, break left. This program is about soldiers at war and not the reasons why. It deals with men in combat. Many of them are regular army. Some are volunteers, others are draftees. You will not be able to tell the difference. Our focus is a few days in the life of one infantry company. Company A, 1st Battalion, 8th Cavalry Regiment, and one company commander. A left guard six, uh, move over to the, uh, your relative position and uh, relieve those units of left tackle over there so they can get on their side of the trail, over. You will follow them on their combat missions, their duty, their daily lives. You know these men. They're the husbands, fathers, brothers, sons of this generation doing the job they are called upon to do, men who can say, I am a soldier, who today in far off lands are living a chapter which we all have shared in writing. It is part of the saga of Western man. It is a different kind of war than we've ever fought. Even the weapons are new. Only the names of the fighting units are old. The 7th Cavalry, the 8th Cavalry, the 5th, the 12th, and the 9th. Regiments born and forged in the Indian Wars and now riding to battle through the skies. It is a different type of country than we've ever fought in. Now flat and sodden with rice paddies now rolling with hills and meadows, now mountainous and steep. It is hot, it is humid, it is thick with plants and vines. It is largely unpopulated, and in the military sense, it belongs to no one. Not to the Viet Cong who roam it, not to the South Vietnamese. It is no man's land. In Vietnam today, you hold only the ground you stand upon. Some 250 miles northeast of Saigon, in the valley of the Song Ba River, is Ang Khe, the 1st Cavalry Division's base camp. It is an entrenched fort, ground solidly held even if under constant enemy probe. It looks much like any other army installation. For even if this is a different sort of war, the army's business has not changed. The battle still belongs to the infantryman and his rifle. The Army's basic unit is still the rifle company. 170 men molded into one team under the command of a captain. One such is A Company, 1st Battalion, 8th Cavalry. Today there are replacements from the states come to fill the open files left by casualties, malaria, and end of enlistment. Most of these men are volunteers. Almost 80% of them are regular army. Many of them are thinking of making the army their life's work. They come from all over America. And then it is the time to remember. Every now and then, a commander in the army runs into somebody it's an ideal soldier. He exhibits this, whether he's a PFC, a spec four, or an acting sergeant. Acting Sergeant James E. Thompson was one of these people. When I took over the command of A Company, Thompson was the guy that got his people up in the morning, got them moving when they were sloughing off a little bit, and in general, 
help this fire team leader make his fire team one of the best in the company. He was a born leader. People liked to do what he told them to do. And if he were here today, I can guarantee you, staying in the Army, he would have been one of the finest soldiers the Army ever produced. Those of you who didn't know Lieutenant Tweedy, this was his first assignment in the Army. The first cab division, Air Mobile. He joined us just before we departed the States to come over here. He was a brand new second lieutenant. He came over here and he led his platoon in the best manner possible. To give you an insight into his character, I got a call on the radio after we'd been down about uh, 10 minutes. He said, there's somebody lying on the LZ. This was after he had reached the safety of the creek bed. He further said, I don't know who he is. I don't know whether he's dead, but I'm going out to see. He picked up out of the safety of the creek bed, ran about 100 yards over to the individual, laid down beside him. He was not dead. He talked to him about 10 seconds. Then the individual, whether he was afraid, I don't know, he got up and he ran off the LZ into the creek bed so he could go on to accomplish his mission. Then Lieutenant Tweedy got up, went back, picked up his platoon, maneuvered him into the final coordination line in front of his hill. About halfway there, he was killed. In honor of the dead, let us stand. Quitty, Stewart, K, 2nd Lieutenant Infantry, A Company. Thompson, James E, Acting Sergeant, A Company. Brooks, Jimmy L, Staff Sergeant E6, Bravo Company. Flags, James E, Private, Bravo Company. Masterson, Edmund M, PFC, Bravo Company. McCallop, Williams, PFC, Bravo Company. Swanson, Neil W, PFC. Cannons boom. A fire of interdiction or the artillery preparation for a new assault. A Company 1st Battalion, 8th Cavalry, marches off again. One company and one company commander in an army composed of companies, and they all are pretty much alike. They man the outposts, and with their lives, they buy the peace we shall enjoy tonight.
burn the hometown depot down to the factory. You take that stretch of history and wipe it off the map. Take a Lindy number now and burn it into scrap. Blue water, blue water, blue water line. If you can't afford a quarter, then you ought to give it time. If everybody gave, then we could save the blue water line. Okay, let's go.